What do you do in a situation where you have wicked people that are supposed to be leaders surrounding you? Rabbi tells you that you're allowed to go gamble. Rabbi tells you you're allowed to be with a prostitute as long as she's not Jewish. Uh, Rabbi tells you you're allowed to drive as long as you're driving to Shabbat. Rabbi tells you all types of things that are complete nonsense. There's no source for it in the Torah. But he tells you stuff like this. What do you do? Or perhaps you have family members that uh, say things like this. The following. Number one. If it's a rabbi, run away from him. There's no hope for such a person. You're not going to change the rabbi. Run away because if you don't, he'll turn you into him. You have to run away as far as possible. Don't learn from him. Don't listen to his lectures. Not even to a joke. Something that's impure only produces impure. Meaning that even if it's something that seems neutral, even if it's something that seems neutral, like a joke, you shouldn't learn it, you shouldn't listen to it if it's coming from such a person. Because it's full of venom. But if it's a family member or just a regular person in the kila that's just uh, is confused, ignorant, and so on, try to, if you have the strength and the knowledge, try to rebuke them, try to bring them the truth. But if you don't, if you have, let's say, a family member, you have a cousin, you have an aunt, you have a mother, you have a father, you have somebody in your family that's like this, and you're in a situation where you don't have really much to do. Then, if you can't rebuke them, and you cannot run away, meaning you're stuck, let's say you're a 15-year-old kid, and your father is a heretic. Your father is a you know, mamash. He tells people to drive on Shabbat. And you can't move out. You're 15. What do you do? Nothing. Don't do anything. Focus on yourself. If you're in a situation where you cannot rebuke, then you focus on yourself because that will be the rebuke. Like I said, you could always send them my lectures, my clips, and so on. But aside from that, don't even worry about rebuking them. Just simply focus on yourself. Focus on you doing tshuva and perfect yourself. Because that will be the biggest rebuke in the world. And that's again, this is only if you don't have a choice. You're a 15 year old kid, you can't move out, and your father's a kofel, your mom's a kofel. But if you have a choice, then obviously do something else. And every case has to be evaluated. But sometimes people tell me, listen, I, uh, what do I do? I'm married to this guy, and he's this and that. I'm not going to tell anybody to get divorced. You have to try to get him back. Gotta try to get to do chuba. It's gonna take some time and so on and so forth. In the meantime, how? Focus on yourself. Why? Because what ends up happening is that if you increase your own kedusha, if you increase your own kedusha, you increase your own knowledge. You apply this knowledge to your life. That itself is going to be something that's going to get people to want to do what you're doing more than anything that you can say more than anything else that you can say why because what ends up happening is that they see how your life is turning out and they see how their life is turning out there are two years have passed three years have passed you're listening to this rabbi you're doing chuba you're fixing yourself and what happens you're becoming a better person all of a sudden the market crashes but no sweat all of a sudden, there's traffic, but no sweat. You come. All of a sudden, there's a hurricane and no sweat. I was like, wow, there's a hurricane. Oh, I know. You don't care. Why? You know, I can't go into the world. It's like as if you're like an autopilot. You're just living in the world and you understand Hashem runs the world. You have no stress. You have complete bitachon. Whether you have money, you don't have money, you're perfectly happy. Three years have passed. They're still the same bema they were three years ago, if not worse. They still curse like filthy animals. They still look at everything that moves. Their marriage is even worse today than it was before. Their kids are gotten worse. Every, their life has gotten worse. At best case scenario, it stayed the same miserable life as it was three years ago, while your life has improved. That you cannot ignore. Because they see, your life is turning out peaches. Their life is like a rotten apple. So 
that Rabotai inspires people more than anything else that I can say. And eventually what ends up happening is that those people, if they have a little bit of truth in them, they start asking for advice and eventually maybe even ask you for blessings. <laughs>